Dear town or in this city, and if you don't believe me, I keep telling you, don't take my word for it. Just watch Monday all the way through Friday, 7 all the way through 10 in the a.m. Now, it's a little bit, uh, possibly half past 8 a.m. We go all the way to 10, like I just said. So we're just starting to get to the juicy stuff. We're now diving into career, and I have a very, very interesting and dapper looking gentleman with me in studio but let me allow him to introduce himself by the way we are asking something on our socials uh, yeah i mean i'm still confused why you decided to start monday morning namaswali zandoa but yes <laughs> i think the question is what do you answer did you ask the guest Anyway, I tried for Y254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on X, Y254 underscore channel on the gram, and et cetera, et cetera, threads, YouTube, and them. Good morning. Good morning, Val. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You look very mischievous. Are you a mischievous? <laughs> <man? laughs> I'm not. You look very, very mischievous. <laughs> what is your good name, sir? My name is Donald Aguenga. Mm -hmm. I'm a big data specialist. Mm -hmm. I also work as the press secretary in the office of the government spokesman. Mm -hmm. I've worked at Nexus Group before, mm -hmm. which, is, which deals with big data and IT. Mm -hmm. yeah. So to talk about either on a kazi or on a connections. For sure, for sure. We just give you hope for a better future. Surely, surely, surely. <laughs> for a better tomorrow. A better tomorrow. Gosh, yeah. gosh, yeah. gosh. How can we find you on social media? At Donald Aguenge mm -hmm. on X. Donald Aguengi on Facebook. I've been a blogger before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did that work out? Do you still do it? And I what was your focus? I don't still do it. I used to do it when I was in campus. Uh -huh. We used to do it for President Uhuru then. Uh -huh. In 2017, when I was still in school. It was a way of looking for unga. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not really. Yeah. But I usually doesn't... <laughs> it's never enough. It's never enough. Basically. Yeah. All right. So maybe let me just ask you the question of the day before we get into what you do and how well you do it. Uh, so what one would lose while come to now? Umewa. Because the question might be redundant. Come on, umewa. Well, women don't marry. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, we stay together with our partners. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> At this point, <laughs> not really married yet. <laughs> not just yet, really, perhaps. Uh, not, not yet. <laughs> not planning. Okay, all right. Yeah. So the question was, I was only... But I have a baby, <laughs> I'm Baba Robin. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah. okay. So it, this whole conversation was just to lead you to the question of the day. So, mm. and the answer is no. Ama mbono jawa. What is usually your answer? Do or men don't? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, marriage is a bit complicated at this moment in time. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not really a priority for most young people at uh -huh. the moment. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. are we going to... I want to ask further questions, <laughs> but this is not my topic. <laughs> it is Brian Sakwa, what was topic, and he will be walking you through that in a little bit. <laughs> Let's talk about you, because that's why I'm here. Tell me a little bit about what you do. Yeah. Now what I'm doing is really different from what I've studied in school. Mm -hmm. But it's at least aligned to my passions mm -hmm. and what I like. Mm -hmm. In 2014, I was in Form 4, mm -hmm. and I wrote my first article then. 2014, you were in Form 4? Yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. So I wrote for the Geothermal De Development Company. Mm -hmm. I used to run a column in their news, newsletter when I was in Akuru High School, and mm -hmm. GDC are based there. So I've been writing, I've been blogging. After that, I went to campus, I went to the University of Eldoret mm -hmm. to do statistics, and I was still writing. Mm -hmm. So I'm studying mathematics, but have a passion in writing. Wow. So Those yes. are two very different things. Yeah, uh -huh. but I didn't have a platform. So I think around 2016, I got a platform now to write in the political sphere. I don't think I have to mention all that, all that, how it came to be. Then I graduated, and uh, around 2017, I was still writing. 2018, 2019, mm -hmm. 
So I've been writing all my life, mm -hmm. but I've never studied that. Mm -hmm. I've had an interest in computing, mm -hmm. IT, and such things, and it's very closely related to mathematics mm -hmm. because computers and math are just the same thing. Mm -hmm. So years later now, I'm in a communication field. Mm -hmm. I prepare statements and speeches for, for government, mm -hmm. but that's not what I've studied. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, okay. okay. So that's what I do daily. <laughs> reading and writing. Okay. I also write for the standard. Uh -huh. I run a column on Thursday. Uh -huh. But it's not as frequent as before because of the nature of my work now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> True. But you can never have too much work. I like yeah, to yeah. work. I'm a workaholic. <laughs> now, uh, walk me through that transition from studying mathematics and dabbling in IT. Now, how did you make that shift to communications? I think, uh, I don't know, how would I explain this? Mm -hmm. I think it's beyond my r own explanation. And because, because my boss as well, my boss is a politician mm -hmm. and uh, looks like he was also being prepared to be in a communications field. Mm -hmm. Uh, the government spokesman Isaac Moura. Mm -hmm. So maybe you ask the question again. <laughs> <laughs> How did you transition from? Uh, well, not really. Uh, I don't know if you made it a career, but from mathematics and IT all the way to communications. And are you trying to ascend to politics? Because it sounds like that's where you you might find yourself in. The yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay. So I think um, in 2022. I was working, doing my thing, big data things, mm -hmm. for Kenya Kwanzaa. So we worked. First, before, before nominations, I was working with the, the now government spokesman. Mm -hmm. He was campaigning to be an MP somewhere in mm -hmm. Ruir. Mm -hmm. We were working with the current nominated senator, Esther Kwenyuri. We were mm -hmm. running his data center there. So the call center, contact center. We worked, but he lost that election. After that, we transitioned to the Kenya Kwanzaa Economic Forum, where now there was writing. Mm -hmm. Because we were in the secretariat, we could go to those 47 county economic forums mm -hmm. and write what the people were saying mm -hmm. to, for the secretariat. Wow, you travel a lot. Yeah, internally, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. across the counties. Mm -hmm. Then um, President Ruto won the elections. Mm -hmm. People got jobs. Some of us were not lucky to get jobs until after one year or thereafter mm -hmm. when Isaac Moura was appointed the government spokesman mm -hmm. and we had worked with him before in data and the economic forums and we were paired to work with him now mm -hmm. there at the office of the government spokesman. Okay. So we found ourselves writing once again. Mm -hmm. He had also previously written for the Star mm -hmm. and had some little background in communication despite him being a, a trained teacher. Mm -hmm. Did not know that. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. That's okay. how I transition now to daily read and write. Okay. Yeah. All right. Does do you feel like you're? I rarely speak. <laughs> oh really? They yeah, don't yeah. go hand in hand writing no, and speaking. No, 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 they speaking. don't. Really? It's rare. It's a rare gift. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. At least you know you're talented. I see. Okay. Please walk me through data analysis in, in terms of elections and all these things because one minute we're voting, we're standing in lines from four in the morning, then the next thing servers are being asked to be open, it's going to court, the highest court of that land. What happens exactly? Um, elections is all about numbers. Mm -hmm. You get more numbers, you win. Mm -hmm. You get less numbers, you lose. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a data scientist, we can predict who's really going to win and who's going to lose. Based on what? Based on data. Uh -huh. With data, you can do what we call data modeling mm -hmm. and simulation. With data, I can model and simulate and tell you that now this the proba these, these are the probable outcomes. Mm -hmm. Kenyan politics is a bit easy and uh, ethnic-based to some extent. Mm -hmm. And there are some facts that can never change. So we also bring history to it. Oh, wow. Yeah, we bring history to it. We've done, Nexus Group we used to do consultancies for different candidates across the country. Mm -hmm. And most of them, most of our candidates won based on the 
modeling we gave them. Mm -hmm. And some of them we told them, you're not going to make it. Wow, outright. Yeah, outright. Yeah. Okay. And we leave you and support the person who's going to make it because, you know. Wow, <laughs> okay. So, for example, in a presidential campaign, let me flash back to the previous election. Mm -hmm. There's the historical fact. For example, we knew the former Prime Minister, Raila Odinga, in Mount Kenya. We, it, it's a historical fact that mm -hmm. people will not vote for him. But His there was an illusion that the mountain, Alikuwa na Panda Mlima, Wow. But historically and mm -hmm. factually and statistically, mm -hmm. it can never happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We think uh, around that time mm -hmm. we were a bit close to, because all, all factors, it was very close this time to being president. He lost with just 200,000 votes. Mm -hmm. But historically and statistically, winning Mount Kenya, I think picking Martha Karua was his Waterloo, mm -hmm. was his downfall, yeah because the mountain will never vote for him, based on fact, history. You put all models, it will tell you, pick this, it will not happen. And I remember that uh, uh, Ruto also picked uh, Rigathi on 15th of March of 2022, just to tilt the dynamics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we have data we have of how many Luos are voters, how many Kikuyus, then you know our politics is ethnic or ethnocentric. You put all this together and you know, these are the possible outcomes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are there, is there room rather for disparities? Again, the whole Tufungwe Saba thingy, is, is there any chance of the numbers being manipulated just before they? I believe uh, for the past, the past election was the, I think the most free, the most fair elections, I think in Africa. Mm -hmm. There, there is nothing in the server. What's in the server and what is here is just the very same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And server, I remember we were on a tour. We were on a tour to Konza City, where uh, there is a big data center there by the government. And we were walking into the server room and walking some people around there. So we, the person who was taking us around is telling us, now this is the server room. These are the servers <laughs> now. <laughs> It's something that you cannot really open. It's mm -hmm. not a room that you can open and see what is inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> it's just uh, facilitates the movement of data. Mm -hmm. There is nothing in the servers. Mm -hmm. Everything was at the polling station. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. So from what is what what was at the polling station mm -hmm. is what is in the server. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nothing different. All right. I I'm feeling like when I listen to you, you've amassed. A lot of knowledge, Math again with the mathematics and, and IT, and now you have been writing your whole life, as, you, as you've stated. So are these the stepping stones towards, why are you, why are you laughing even now? <laughs> <laughs> are these the stepping stones to get you into politics? Do you think that what you have studied or continue to study or what you're doing right now in the communications office will help you, will give you an edge? I think I've had experience in politics. I think uh, I, I became a politician at a young age when I was a, st a small boy. I wow. think I think uh, I used to love Raila Odinga so much at that time, and um, I think I first saw him in when I was in class one. Mm -hmm. He came to our school in a chopper, and he was talking, and I admired him. <laughs> He had a car a and I could model, you know, take clay and build a car, put loudspeakers on top, mm -hmm. then imitate him, <laughs> playing alone as I graze cows in the village oh, wow. in Homabe. Then in 2015, when I was in first year, is when I first spoke to him. And uh, I don't know, I looked for his number, mm -hmm. called him severally, he never picked. Mm -hmm. Then I texted him. Then one day, he, 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 he picked. Wow. And we spoke, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, nobody introduced me to him. I just got his number. I called him severely, persistently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he picked some day, and we spoke. Mm -hmm. I had an idea. I used to read a lot about politics. So look about the um, Arab Spring, Hong Kong Revolution, politics in South Africa, and I was seeing the Young Turks. Mm -hmm. And I was seeing the, 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 the people, the young people in Kenya, 
I don't know if you fear politics. If you check these countries I've mentioned, mm -hmm. their political parties have a student's front. Up to now, no political party in Kenya has a student's front. Mm -hmm. whereby you nurture the ideals of the party mm -hmm. in these students from high school or from 18, say when they can make their own decisions. It's ambitious. Mm -hmm. from, from four from campus first year. Mm -hmm. Because I think uh, I changed my political perspective because of what I gained or what was imparted in me at 19 or 20 there. Mm -hmm. So we spoke and we said that's a brilliant idea. You introduced me to someone else. But I believe, actually, I'm writing this uh, this week in my column, mm -hmm. something around this. I believe people around him have been failing him terribly. Mm -hmm. Because to okay. the best of my knowledge, I mm -hmm. believe that was a brilliant idea. He believed so as well. Mm -hmm. And now he can't run everything. Mm -hmm. He has to delegate, you do this, you do this. But whoever he delegated that to, I don't want to mention names, it did not. They just kept taking me rounds and rounds. Mm -hmm. I'm in Eldoret. I come to Nairobi. You know, mm -hmm. We used to wait for a... Uh, because you don't want to come to Nairobi and spend a night here, mm -hmm. book somewhere to sleep or bother a relative. You wait for 10 at night. Mm -hmm. But after Basi, Napanda used... It used to cost me 400 shillings. Mm -hmm. I take a bus from Eldoret to Nairobi. I come to look for people here who are nowhere to be seen, yet you'd been given instructions, wow. go see this person, go mm -hmm. see this person. So it was that terrible. Mm -hmm. Then, Badai, Badai, Badai Kidogo, I looked for the then ODM Secretary General, mm -hmm. Honorable Ababu Namwamba. I texted him on Facebook, he responded. On yes. Facebook? Yeah, on the Facebook. Yeah. Uh -huh. Actually, he's my mentor, he's my political mentor. Mm -hmm. He's the one who introduced me to mainstream politics and uh, actually nurtured my writing. Checking what I used to write then. I used to write in click sounds, like the koi koi of South <laughs> Africa. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, I used to write with the XX, you know. Uh -huh. Ooh, uh, xa, xa. Yeah, you know, Oye. Facebook brings you memories oh. and you see. <laughs> and On I this remember, day. Uh, yeah. I remember I 2013 I was in Form 3, but I could still commentate on national politics with my click sounds. Mm -hmm. So I see the memories, but he nurtured my writing. I used to head his uh, blogging team at some point in time. Mm -hmm. So I told him, uh, Baba sent me to these people. These people are not helping me, and you're the SG of the party. And he told me, Tutaftane, Tupatane. We met. He came to Eldoret. We had an event at Moi University. We met severally again and again. But uh, little did I know that he was also in, on his way out of ODM. That's the time he was leaving ODM. Mm -hmm. So we left. And that's how we, <laughs> yeah, we left uh -huh. together. Uh -huh. Because we were both staunch members of the Orange Party. Mm -hmm. Died supporters of Raila Odinga. But we were frustrated and now we had to, to leave. Mm -hmm. And that's how, since then, I don't think I've ever supported that course again. Mm -hmm. I moved on and moved on completely, mm -hmm. and here I am. And moved forward. I moved forward, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. They say, we just had a conversation actually with one Wainaina Gishege, mm. and it was youth affairs. So youth affairs, we talked about anything under the sun that affects the youth. If it's politics, we double in that. We talked about how varsities were told to recall their admission letters for a reason or the other. Apparently, something to do with the fee structure. It was not according to the household. I, I'm doing the quote thing again, the quote unquote. Yes. So, do you imagine, or is it really true what we like to tell each other, or things that we say to ourselves that we sleep better at night, that we are the leaders of today, not tomorrow? Kesha, <laughs> why, Yeah, I think... Uh, we should be the leaders of today mm -hmm. because tomorrow you'll be old, you'll be tired, mm -hmm. and you'll be faced out already. Mm -hmm. So you either take your chance today. If it doesn't work, look for something else that worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so today. You, you firmly believe as the youth that we are very capable of being leaders and effective ones at that. Ab absolutely. 
Really? Today, today, today. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. I have further questions, but let me... <laughs> I don't... I have... <clears throat> anyway, at White Five Four Facebook, White Five Four Channel on X, White Five Four Underscore Channel on Instagram, and the rest. Okay, so if if you were chosen today to lead in what, uh, whatever capacity that you feel suits you best, what would you? The first thing you be, what would the what would you do in office? The first thing, and I'm going to tie it to the youth. What would you do for the youth? At which office? Which office? Whichever capacity, <laughs> tell you, whichever makes you feel at like... At home, you know, you uh -huh. can be a leader at home, you can be a leader in church, so maybe if you could be more specific. I'm talking a government setting. Oh, a now government you've setting. you ascended into politics and you are standing firm on your ground. What would be the first thing you do? On youth. youth? On youth, um, I believe um, I'm, a, I'm a, a Pan-Africanist first uh -huh. and I believe in Africa. In Africa, one of our biggest uh, resources is the young people. Mm. Actually, I believe there's a big difference between youth and young people. Oh, what's the difference? So I, I prefer calling, maybe, I believe you meant young people. Uh -huh. What's the difference? In the political you? background, youth, <laughs> ni wale watu wa, leta youth sasa, ni wale watu kuleta vurugu, ah. na kama Okay. And in colonial times as well, uh -huh. youth, yeah, chiefs use, the chiefs or the colonial administrators used to have youth. Youth used to be kama mm -hmm. the people they you you know mm -hmm. uh, used to enforce their rules. So I believe there's a difference between youth and young people. Mm -hmm. And I've worked in the space of young people, uh, and uh, at my own capacity now mm -hmm. as an individual, the n the little knowledge I have, I think uh, there are NGOs that I know that I have. There is my input there, mm -hmm. and they're doing things that uh, in, in, impact young people, like Smarts Foundation, Young People in Agriculture, uh, patroned by first daughter, Shalin Ruto. She's also passionate about young people. Um, back in Omo Bay, where I come from, there are many things we are doing with young people in sports, uh, just uh, ensuring that they are not idle to be devil's workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, at Nexus, which I think I have interest there, mm -hmm. we work only with young people, yeah, young ladies, especially young ladies and uh, young gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have I answered you? Or I need you've to go circumvented, on. but <laughs> you've given me something. Yeah. So that's now me. what we're doing currently. So I think if I, w uh, if I get into a leadership position, I will just now build up on the foundations mm -hmm. of what uh, we are doing there and the, here and there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I believe the biggest challenge of our young people is employment. Mm -hmm. People are unemployed. People don't have money. And I think people also have the mentality that they have to be employed to get money. Mm -hmm. So that's one challenge that I will solve within 100 days. Aha, uh -huh, <laughs> in office. OK. Uh -huh. Within 100 days in office, that will be solved. Mm -hmm. Because I believe uh, just making things work, I believe we have a set of laws that if implemented to the latter, our young people would be somewhere. Mm -hmm. For example, 30% AGPO on procurement. How, how, how much, what's the worth of the tenders that are done in this country? Mm -hmm. If you really give 30% to young people, mm -hmm. then they would be empowered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now what happens is that people are hiding behind our names to mm -hmm. do this contract, mm -hmm. you know. Things like uh, education. We don't need to make education expensive for our young people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can even be free. I was asking myself that um, why do we need... Uh, I think, uh, I believe we have 290 constituencies, each receiving around 200 million, maybe in, the, in this coming financial year, this finance bill, people yeah. are discussing. 200 million per year, and around 30% is for bursaries. That's around 60 million. If you multiply by 290, is a, is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Are you a mathematician? I am not. <laughs> <laughs> I am not. <laughs> You'd have taken that so quickly. Mm -hmm. 60 by 300. Eh? It's mm -hmm. around 18, it's a lot of money, mm -hmm. 18 or 180 billion. I was thinking, why do we need bursaries? Do, do we really need to pull this money and make education free 
instead of having bursary where people give it based on favors and things like that. Mm -hmm. Because uh, education is a basic right and it's the best thing you can empower a young person with. Yeah. So that's one thing. Sounds very enticing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm not decided yet. Sense, uh, I'm not decided yet. Mm -hmm. You know, it depends on pockets. In politics, you also have to have very, very big pockets. Uh, uh -huh. So I think I'm concentrating on making them making them deep first before, ah, before <laughs> we. Okay. <laughs> because I don't have the I don't have the the the, the, the leisure to go there to lose. Oh wow. I'm yeah, too in there. Okay. Mm. All right, you Money plays a big role in our politics. Is that fortunate or unfortunate? Uh, <laughs> it's a balance. There's a balance there. A delicate one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I believe uh, mm -hmm. in this country, uh, uh, when, you get, when you give a hungry person, uh, when you put a hungry person where there is a lot of food, or a rat where there is maize, <laughs> You know what will happen. So it's a bit delicate, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, unfortunately, now we have to end this conversation. But if a young person, say youth, youth is able bodied <laughs> and, and vigorous and used in the wrong manner. <laughs> so if a young person out there is watching and, and looking at your life and your accolades and is feeling inspired or inspired, what would you like to say to them? To, I want to encourage. We don't need to be employed to absolutely, know, make money. Absolutely, yes. yeah. We, well, taking from you, you have studied a lot, and I want to believe you're still doing it, whether it's in the school of life or something. Mm. But if you were just to look at someone, a young person out there who's in need of nuggets of wisdom, what would you say in a sentence? I think I'll tell them from uh, my own experience. Okay. Eh? In uh, was it in in 2016? December, uh, <laughs> when I got a baby, eh? mm -hmm. you know, this first time experience, you go first time and you get a baby, you mm -hmm. know. <laughs> yeah. So, and you have nothing, you know. Do you need a clarification somewhere? No, 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 I'm okay, I'm okay. Please proceed. Please so, proceed. Uh, it's 2016, December 4th. Uh, I, I get a baby. Mm -hmm. I'm barely 20. You have no livelihood. Mm -hmm. You fear your parents. You want to ask, did I go to school to get a baby or get a degree? And uh, your conscience tells you you need to provide for this baby and this girl, you know. So I was in that situation that time. Mm -hmm. And three weeks later, um toto piaka kwa mgonjwa. And I remember the bill was close to a million shillings mm. when they left hospital in February. Mm -hmm. 14th. Wow. Of, yeah. So I went to the drawing board and said, no. Now what do I need to do? Mm -hmm. I need, do I really need to wait, graduate and start working? And start looking for work, which I think is also another work, looking for work. Mm -hmm. So I formed my first company in, in 2018. Actually, I got my baby in 2017 or 2016. So in 2018, I formed my first company and I named it after the baby. Mm -hmm. I remember somebody who is my mentor used to tell me, why do you have this name? It looks so funny. Mm -hmm. Somebody will not even take you serious mm -hmm. to give you a job with a company called Starboy Enterprises. You know. Wow. But it was in recognition of the, the boy I had, the Starboy mm -hmm. I had. Mm -hmm. So that was my first company. And uh, I had a lot of interest in IT, so I decided to be a reseller of mm. softwares. I love software, so they make work easier. So I had been a teacher during long holidays. I used to teach f girls physics mm -hmm. and mathematics. So I could see how, you know, managing the school, school management software. Some schools have softwares and systems that you can do exams today, analysis, everything, timetable timetable, schedules, mm -hmm. what else, accounts, everything is automated. While other schools, it's manual, mm. with turbo. Yet these things cost like 50,000, 100,000, and you can fully automate your school. 
So I had a friend here in Zimmerman running a company called Shule Pro. Mm -hmm. So I got in touch. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a license at 19999 Yeah, then me, I go and sell like 50000 100000 Wow. So I got my first tender. I spent 20000 and made 250000 Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's how I started. And I managed to... Now, uh, the mother of the child and myself, we were staying in separate houses, and we didn't want to disrupt our schooling, so I told her, a bed she was staying in a bed seat of 5,000. Mine was also 5,000, so we moved to one bedroom. In Eldoret houses are a bit affordable, mm -hmm. 7,000 shillings. So I told her, this 5,000 used to pay rent, now pay your house, girl. Mm. Yeah, me mean that a footer, diapers and all those things. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's how I did. I believe something has to push you. That was my motivation to working hard. Otherwise, I used to be very lazy. I used to sell smokies and eggs, and you know, we go drink all of it in the evening mm -hmm. because there was nothing to motivate. So I believe we need motivation, something to push us. Once we have that, then we'll have uh, the urge to work and work hard now and now. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so find your motivation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to come with diapers and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just find your yeah. motivation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thank you so very much for having mm -hmm. a conversation with me. I've had a very, very interesting time. <laughs> Please do come again. I told you, bye, Ndawambia, the next time we see each other. Kama Janipea Kazi ama connections, we are crucifying him. Yes, thank you. One more time, how we can find you on social media? On social media, on X, at Donald Agwenga. Facebook, Donald L. Agwenga. Mm -hmm. I'm not on any other social platforms. Okay. Yeah, just that. I'm you're not, not on TikTok. I was just going to ask, you're not on TikTok? I'm not I on thought TikTok. young people are on TikTok. Young people are on TikTok, but I believe TikTok is not really a perfect haven for young people. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a conversation for another day. It's a conversation for another day. I see day. you. Yeah. All right, do remember we are asking a question on our socials and you can interact. In fact, we encourage you to interact with us at White 54 Facebook, Y254 channel on X, White 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and of course, threads, TikTok, and them, especially YouTube, just in case you really enjoyed this particular conversation with one Sir Donald. And yeah, or you missed some of it and you want to watch it in entirety you know what to do just go on youtube my name is valentine thank you for allowing me to host you today now i'm going to pass the baton on to one brand circle 101 with the last conversation of the day have a good one